guys, I'm back with another video for you lot to create some beautiful artwork at home. This is another idea for creating some fun paper um, for you to put drawings or cut out animals or shapes with for you to pass the time by because we have a lot of time at the moment. Right, so you'll need a plain piece of paper. We're going to use tin foil again. Plain piece of paper, some tin foil, and you will need some paints. Uh, poster paints ideally. You can use any colours you like and that is it. You won't even need a paintbrush for this one. Okay, so take a little bit of tin foil, simply crunch it into a, a loose sort of ball. Okay, now I'm going to, oh that was a close one. I'm going to take some pink and put it into my into my paint palette, which is a plate today. Okay, please ask your guardians um, what you can and can't use <laughs> because I don't want to have <laughs> lots of angry people saying, my plates are covered in paint. Okay, right. You're going to take your tin foil and just simply dip it into oh, your paint. Now, you want to, did you see what I did just then? Sorry, you probably didn't see. Scrape off the excess. You don't want it too much, okay? Scrape off the excess so you can still see the pattern and the crumpledness of the tin foil underneath. And then, you're simply just going to press down, I can't see what I'm doing, press down onto your paper, lightly, okay? And it will build up quite a fun, and you can keep doing this until you are happy and satisfied with the pattern on your page okay you can grab another piece of tin foil it's a bigger section or a smaller section again very loosely you kind of want as many indents and creases as possible um, to create that really funky spiky texture and I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of yellow this time Ooh, I like it when it makes that squirty noise okay right and you're gonna take it again dip it in brush off the excess you don't want too much loopiness let's go all the way around and simply spike it on the top now if you were a little bit more patient than me, you could let the other colour dry so it doesn't mix together. Oh, this is looking quite fun. Okay. There you go, a whole mixture of different colours. And let's do one more, let's have three. Okay, right, um, how about, how about a little bit of Let's go for a dark colour, let's go for some purple. Okay. Right. I've taken a bit of a smaller piece this time. I'm going to really concentrate on that. Oh, there's the camera, that nozzle is a bit. Right, if that's even a word. Just taking a really small amount, you see? Gently tapping it on the top. So once your um, paint has dried, you can use a hair dryer if you want. Again, we don't want to be waiting around for paint to dry, okay? Once your paint is dry, again, just like with the um, tin foil wash marbling style print paper we did the other day, you could draw designs on top of it, you could cut out some animal shapes. I've been receiving some beautiful pictures of artwork people have been doing. Um, turning their creations into um, animals or creatures and it's so clever and creative. I was thinking, seeing as Easter is coming up, you guys could create some wonderful little Easter eggs and draw some great patterns again. You're a lot better than me. 
um, some great patterns and designs on top to really finish and complete your paper and make your house look beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys create. Have lots of fun and goodbye.